I want to show you how we can use a very simple trigonometric function called tangent to calculate the altitude at apogee of our water bottle rockets. And we're going to use a really simple formula. This is tangent of theta equals opposite divided by adjacent. And here's what that's going to look like. If we take a right triangle, which is a triangle that has a right angle there, I've got three corners, and the corner that we're going to be concerned with is we're going to call theta. So that's where the tangent theta comes in. It's, it's tangent of, of that angle. And then that makes these sides my opposite and adjacent sides. This one over here would be my opposite side. This one here would be my adjacent side. So what this formula is, is it's a relationship of these three values. The relationship of the measure of this angle to the length of this side to the length of this side. And using some simple algebra, if we know two of these three values, we can pretty easily figure out the third. Let me, uh, for example, let's say we know that our angle here is 45 degrees and we know that the length of this adjacent side is I'm going to say 50 feet just to have nice round numbers. Knowing that and putting those values into our formula we get tangent 45 equals opposite divided by adjacent which we now know is 50 feet. Now if I do some simple algebra multiply both sides by 50, that's going to get rid of the 50 there and it's going to put it on the other side and my formula ends up looking like tangent 45 times this 50 that I multiplied by both sides equals the length of the opposite side. And so really simply here now I can see that I can find the length of this third side if I multiply the length of this side times the tangent of that angle. So let's go ahead and do that. Pull out my calculator here. I take tangent, which is the tan button, 45 times the 50 equals, and I can see that the length of my opposite side is also going to be 50 feet. Now, what does this have to do with our bottle rockets? Well, I'm going to draw my triangle again. There's my marker. And this time I'm going to add to my triangle. This is you watching your bottle rocket. Here's your rocket up here, flying high at apogee. And I'm going to put an L right here to signify that that's where we launched the rocket from. Now, this distance from you to the launch pad, we're going to call D. That's your distance, and we can measure that. We can take a tape measure and physically measure how far you are from the launch pad. This angle here, theta, we have a device, an altitude finder, which you're going to learn how to use. But we can, we can find that angle pretty easily. Our third value then is going to be our altitude, which I'll abbreviate A. Now going back to the formula that we just worked, we know that tangent theta times the adjacent side, which our adjacent side really is distance from the launch pad, is going to equal our opposite side, which our opposite side is equal now to our altitude. So, for instance, if we measure ourselves and we stand 100 feet back and we measure, as that rocket goes up, we use the altitude finder to measure an angle of 60 degrees, well then to find the altitude, we simply have to take tangent of 60 degrees times distance, which is 100. Again, if I look at my calculator, if I get out my calculator, I take tangent 60 
times 100 equals, and that rocket has gone 173 feet. That would be our altitude.